Hey guys, welcome back to Avery's Math Tutorials, back to my channel. Um, so, today we are going to be learning, or actually, you know what I'm going to say, I haven't filmed in a little while, so I just want to say hi. You know, I was planning to do it, uh, to make a video over Christmas break, but things just kind of got hectic, but I'm glad I am starting off today. So, let's get on to the video. Okay. So today we're going to learn about estimating roots and well, I want I want you to think to yourself. Do we know what an estimation is? Do we know how to estimate numbers? Um so if we know what estimation if we know how to estimate, you know, got that toolkit right there, you know. And then do we know what a root is? Well, there's cube roots, there's square roots, there's so many roots. So, if you put those two knowledgeable notes into your head, you got estimate, estimate roots. That is the subject of today's video. So, um, we're going to get on to it, but I just wanted to make sure we were on the same wavelength. Um, so, let's get on. Okay. So we're estimating roots, okay? And so I put a little example right here again. Bear with me. We are kind of, we're reading from this side, and then we usually read from this side. We're reading from this side. So I still got to figure out what I'm going to do long in the future for my videos. But estimating roots. Um, so for example, um, so this is what... Um, for this example, we're learning how to find the square root. And so, they're finding the square root and the cube root. And so, this one is finding the square root. And what I mean by square root, you're probably thinking of the shape of square, you know. Um, four, four sides. Um, usually see it in a dimensional figure. Um, but this, my fellow friends... Um, this is what it'll look like, and the the square root of 4 would be 2, and the reason why is because with square root, when you think of square, like, you always have an, like an, like a power of 2. That's what a square root is, and so, um, we want to find something that is a square root, and what I mean by that is, you know, 2. And you see that little 2. So when you think of square root, your um, your exponent, your power, will always be 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. Right here. So look up here. You know? Isn't that per... Oh, that is not pointing to the 4. This is 4. Okay. Oh my gosh. I have There we go. That looks more like it. So it's pointing... Okay, you know what? My point is that I'm trying to point to the 4. So 2 times 2 is 4, 2 to the second power is 4. That is the square root. Okay? So, that one was more of the easier ones, but now, like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to give you an example, okay? I'm going to throw some tricky things, I'm going to throw some tricky things at you, so you got to Pay attention. Um, okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to try to find the square root of 8. And I'll show you what this looks like. Let me put the answer. Okay. Looking at the notes, too. Okay. So, square root. This is the signal for square, um, or estimating a root. Um, right here. It looks like a... It almost looks like a division bar, but it's just kind of like that. But, and then we got, so we're trying to find the square root of 8. And when I was saying, like, well, whatever number this has to be, it has to be doubled in order to get that. Because that's what square root is. You double it, um, because that's just what you do. It's something you got to remember. And so, usually... Like, you would get four, a common, common problem is four times two equals eight, right? And three times three does definitely not equal eight. 
You know, it, it equals nine. Fun fact. Um, it equals nine. For y'all that do not know that, crack a book. No, just kidding. That, that was a joke. That was a joke. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're going to get into this. Okay. I am back. Um, so the square root of eight is three. And do you know why? Because, man, if we, if we did four times four, what would that get us? That would get us 16. Okay, but let's go. So that was one up. So that was one up from three and we used four. And if we double four, that's 16. And if we go down three, which is below three is two. One, two, and three. Um, if you go three times three, that is nine. So that is closer to eight than it is four times four. So, like, really think about this. This is probably a pretty easy question. Is 16 closer to eight or is nine closer to eight? Nine is closer to eight. It is. Um, you probably cannot see all of this. Um, so... That would be our answer. That would be, that's what estimation is. Estimation is never the exact answer that you, that you think it is. It's never going to be exactly on point um, with being accurate. It's just whatever gets closer to this number, okay? So that's what kind of, that's like the trickier step, you know? So that's, that's it. Um, so that is that. And then we're, I'm going to show you a couple more things, so. Okay, so I'm back. So with estimation of um, roots, usually you'll, uh, or sometimes you'll see, um, like, a, um, a line plot. And so right here, for this example, we have two, three, four, five, and then over here, it's kind of really, really tiny. Yeah, five and a half. Five and one half. So... And then it goes, you know, so on. Um, so when we start with two, what we're trying to find is the, we're trying to find what is like, so these are the factors of, so, no, actually, I'm going to say it in a more of a accurate way. This is, these are the roots. And we're trying to fry, find, find, the, find the product of these roots. So, for example, the product of 2, well, we're trying to find the square root, so it would be 2 times 2. Well, it's 2 times 2. We're doubling 2. So, 2 times 2 would be 4. So, that's what that would be right there. 4. Okay? Now, 3. Oh, sorry. Oh. Um, so, if we did... Um, so, if you double, th if we double three, three times three is nine, right? And now, if you, now we got four right here. What would be square root of that? Well, it's double four. Four times four is 16. So, 16 would be product of your root and then now five simple just like how we're doing five times five you're doubling it five times five is 25 so you would go like that and um now five and a half Ooh. good day mate we got a we got a fraction on our hands okay and um, so that's the tricky part that is the tricky part. So we are going to go over that right now. Let me just pause this real quick. Okay. So now um, for five and a half, you would, again, you would double it. Five and a half times five and a half would be 30.25. Or is it right there? That gal right there. Okay. So <laughs> we got you, mate. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, that's answer would be um erase this real quick um so now we're just gonna it kind of did a lot of square root. we're gonna move on to cube root um 
so so okay now we're doing cube root cheaper cube root my friends cube cube root okay so um we're gonna find the cube root of um, let's see, 300 and 320 um 320 so i'm gonna use my handy dandy calculator okay and so Now, okay, so exactly, okay, so six, okay, now we're gonna, I'm gonna clear this up real quick. Um, um, so with the square root, what I did was I, I, I kind of wanted to do that a little bit longer too. I'm just realizing that because I wanted to show you how you get the exact, the exact answer to your equation. But now we're really going to like with these cube roots, we're going to actually start estimating a little bit, a little bit more, but I wanted you to estimate kind of, I want you to get the feel for the waters, you know? So, um, 320, the exact, which is not the estimate, the exact answer to this, um, the cube root, excuse me, to 320 would be 6.8. But now, 6.8, let's round that. Let's, that's how we're going to estimate, is by rounding it. If we just eyeballed it, and we were like, okay, boom, that is 8, that is 9, or so on, you know. But if, okay, so, for estimating, we want to round 6.8. So, 6.8 you know if you went to after 6.9 it would be 7.0 just 7 so we're getting pretty close to the end um, of this marking so 6.8 you know you would automatically round it to um to 7 it's closer to 7 than it is to 6 okay that does not look like a 7 that does not for a second i was like what is that okay that is seven. That is a weird looking set. I cannot write. Okay. Now that is a seven, my friends. So yeah, that's, that's kind of how you do it. And it just goes for any other problem, you know. Um, but, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I got today. Um, yeah, so um, thank you for this video and um yeah okay talk to you guys later bye or you know i won't talk to you because we're not calling but you guys will see me later so talk i'm about to say talk to you again i'll see you again